we are back with a brand new video what is good you guys um in today's video we're gonna be doing something a little bit different man um as you guys can see on the screen i'm doing a nba point guards uh tier list maker it says 2021 2022 um and i guess i was from last season but I went, i'm kind of gonna do it like based on what i think or like what i have my point guard list or tiers as uh coming into this upcoming season now um i wanted to do something a little bit different i am i'm like i'm tired about the whole kd and Kyrie situation like we, everyone is talking about that every day bro it's getting tiresome because nothing's happening so um i don't really want to talk about free agency because most of the free agency stuff has already happened uh the class has been pretty weak so far in free agency like there's not really any top 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 tier free agents who are really moving teams like that the, all, the only like thing that's really been really been going around in the nba as far as like news is kevin durant and kyrie irving and obviously like deandre ayton but um yeah we're not going to talk about that for today we're going to we're going to do this point guard tier list maker so let me know what you guys think in the comment section um you know what would you do obviously this is just my opinion it's very hard to rank players i rarely do it because like i said it's so so hard um i will probably do one for like every position if there's one that exists for every position i'll start off with point guards today so yeah leave a like subscribe and comment down below what your thoughts are um we have a lot of point guards here we even have some players who i don't think are actually point guards but um you know we might have to just rank them in today's list like off the top of my head i don't think donovan mitchell is a point guard um as i'm seeing him right now on this list so i mean there might be some you know uh, uh some some discrepancies here and there but for the most part this is what we're going to be doing um and hopefully you guys just understand that this is my opinion let's get right into it man we, we start off with bones highland who's right here there are six categories. I did not make this tier list. This was the, the categories and everything and all the list of players was made by someone in the community. And matter of fact, let me give them credit. Um, if I can even find this, the, the person who made it. Um, yeah, I can't find it, but uh, whoever made this shout out to you uh, because it probably took you some time. Um, but yeah, we'll start off with Bones Highland, man. Uh, Bones Highland is right here. We got six. We got six of these um, uh, categories right now. And I might, you know, shuffle things up as I... Um, I might shuffle things up as I, you know, uh, uh, keep going with this, you know, try to move things around for starting off with Bones Highland, though. Um, obviously, I don't think he's in these categories yet. These top three, uh, he might become an all star someday. We'll see. Um, and um, frankly, I think he's like a role player. You know, I think but he's in that role player category. Now, being a role player is not bad. For some reason, role players have a negative connotation about them. Um, I don't think he's a I don't think he's a, a bad player at all. I think he has a lot of potential. As of right now, he's a role player. Now, I wish there was a category, and I don't know if I can, you know, change any categories and rename categories and stuff. Um, okay, I, I think I can. Um, so actually, I'm, I'm gonna add a row above this. Um, and I'm, I'm gonna try to see if I can move it down uh, to, I'm gonna try to see if I can move it down and make a category called um, like potential, potential superstar, like not, 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 not potential superstar, but like um, yet to be determined. You know what I'm saying? Like yet TBD. Because what I want to do is like, I don't want to classify like Bone Talent is such a young player. I don't know if he's going to stay as a role player for this season. He might just take a big leap. So like he might have to go in this category, to be honest, because like I don't really know exactly um, like since he's so young, he's a role player. He was a role player last season, but like he just might take a huge leap. So he's, he's either one of these two categories. I'm going to put him in yet to be determined for right now. Then we'll, we'll figure it out. Um, Cole Anthony, let me move this category to the bottom, actually. So, yeah, yeah, okay. So, um, yeah, Cole Anthony, um, I think Cole Anthony's a role player. Uh, I think he's a sixth man. I think that's that's what I saw him as coming into the league. Um, I saw him as a microwave off the bench. Now, um, I think Orlando, they're going to have some, a tough decision as to who they want to start at that point guard position. There's a lot of options there um, between Suggs and Fultz and uh, people like that, like, you got to figure out who's going to be the backcourt because you have like those two and then Cole Anthony obviously is there. Um, RJ Hampton's been playing in summer league. So you got to make the decision between those four. Um, I think Cole Anthony will be, you know, a sixth man though. I think that's, that's kind of what his role is throughout his whole career. I think he'd be one of those really good microwave scores off the bench. That's what I see him as Cade Cunningham. Um, I, I think Cade Cunningham is going to be a really, really, really good, really good player, like a superstar type player. Now, obviously he's not a superstar yet, but I think he will become one one day. Um, so you know what? Like I might just put him in yet to be determined. Um, same category as Bones Highland. This is not like a bad category, by the way. I don't want people to think that pe just because I'm saying yet to be determined is a bad category. I'm actually put Bones Highland in this category um, with Cole Anthony, role player. But 
Cade Cunningham, I think, is going to be a, as a superstar uh, in, in the future. Um, I might put him at like an all-star level right now. Um, maybe even starter. But you know what? Yeah, I might, I might have to do like one of these two for now. Um, cause I might have to just say, you know, you know what, we'll just do based off now and what their potential, not what their potential is. Uh, so if we're just going off of right now, I think I might just have to do, I don't, is he going to make an all-star game next year? I mean, he might bro. You know what? I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go out on a limb and say Cade Cunningham is going to be an all-star. I think he's going to be an all-star next season. Um, and, uh, yeah, a lot of people might laugh at me, but I think he's the real deal. Chris Paul, I think he's also an all-star. Um, you know, really, I don't think he's a superstar. Um, I think he's an all-star. Uh, but there might have to be a, a category between all-star and superstar because I think elite and superstar is like very, very similar. Um, so if they're saying superstar is like a tier below elite, obviously Chris Paul right now is better than Cade Cunningham. So he might have to be like in this tier above. Um, but I don't think Chris Paul is a quote unquote superstar either, if you know what I'm saying. So I'll put him in this one for now. And maybe I'll rename this to something else and put this one as superstar. Um, the yet to be determined one might just have to go away because if I'm doing it based off right now, I don't need to put anyone in this category so far. Campaign, I think, is a bench warmer. I, I don't think he's like, I think he's like a end of the rotation type of player, if anything. Um, I don't really think as I mean, if he's a backup point guard on your team, I don't really know how comfortable you are with that. So I'm going to put him right here. Um, Kobe White. Uh, I mean, Kobe White has been pretty disappointing for me so far in his career, but I'm going to put him in the role player category as well. Like a six, man. I think same category as Cole Anthony, potentially. Um, both came out of the same school, too. Uh, De'Aaron Fox. De'Aaron Fox is interesting. Um, I'm going to put him in the all-star category with Cade coming in. Um, I'm, I'm going to put him in this category. Um... Yeah, I think it's fair to say that De'Aaron Fox and Cade Cunningham could be in the same category next season. If Cade takes that leap um, to becoming an all-star, um, I think De'Aaron, because obviously I don't think De'Aaron is on this level, but I think here is a good spot for him. Darius Garland, I'm going to go and put him into a superstar status. I, I just don't see, I, I just want to say star, bro. I just want to stay star. And then I think superstar and elite can be on this category because I, I'm I'm having a very hard time trying to put Chris Paul and Darius Garland as superstars. So I, I just got to change this before it bugs bugs me. But um, I think Darius Garland is at that tier um, of like the Chris Pauls. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think he's in this in this tier. He was a first time all star. He's a really, really, really good player. Um, I think he I think these two are, are a tier above these two. Um, and he is a wild card because if he could jump up to whatever. But I think for sure De'Aaron Fox is a tier below these two. Devontae Graham. Um, I mean, he could be a starter. He's like between these two for me. Uh, I think he's I think he's better than uh, some of these guys on this list so far. So I might put him like right here. But I also think he might be a starter as well. So you know what? Um, I'll put him. I'll put him as a starter for now. And then, like, if we have to, you know, go. If you have to revisit this, we'll revisit it. Damian Lillard, I think, is going to be in like the elite slash super superstar tier. I think he's going to be right here. Um, yeah, I mean, like a lot of people might say, like, I don't think Damian Lillard and Chris Paul are on different tiers. I, I, I think they are. I think Damian Lillard is a bona fide. Like some might say he's a top 10 player. So um, I think he's on that level. Donovan Mitchell, I'm going to put in this category as well. Um, probably in front of these these two. Yeah, Donovan Mitchell is going to be in this category. Uh, DeJounte Murray, I think same thing. I think DeJounte Murray. Um, I mean, DeJounte Murray could also be in this one. But nah, I'm going to put DeJounte Murray in this one. I'm going to put DeJounte Murray in this one. Um, I think he's in the same tier as Darius Garland, uh, Chris Paul. Um, yeah, I think, I think they're all in the same tier. Derrick Rose... At this point, I think he's a role player, uh, which kind of would have to make me say Devontae Graham is also a role player. So I'm going to put Derrick Rose and Devontae Graham in role player categories as well. D'Lo potentially could be an all-star. He potentially could be an all-star. But as of right now, what I've seen from him, his, pr his production has kind of gone down since his Brooklyn days. So he's a starter for me. He's not at the all-star tier yet. Um, Dennis Schroeder, I also think, is like a, a role player. Um, very good role player, but he's a role player to me. Is Delon Wright? Um, same with Delon Wright. We're getting a lot of role players. Davion Mitchell, same thing. Um, I think he's, he's a role player. Eric Bledsoe, role player for me. Um, Compazzo to me is a bench warmer. He could be a role player, but I think you know I think Bones Highland is better than him on his own team. Um, and I don't think you know two point guards are like obviously like he's the third string guy on their team as far as point guards to me. Um, Jamal, I think, is better. And then, obviously, Bones Highland, to me, is better. Fred Van Vliet, uh, it's interesting. I wanted to put him in this category, 
but I don't know if I can. So I think I'm gonna put him in all-star. I think he's better than De'Aaron and I think he's better than Cade for now, but I think he's an all-star to me. I might have to knock DeJounte and Darius Garland down. We'll see, we'll see what happens with that. But um, I, yeah, I think I think Fred Van Vliet's an all-star. Uh, George Hill, I think is a bench warmer. I think George Hill is a bench warmer for sure. He's getting, you know, very, very late into his career. Gabe Vincent really impressed me, man. I'm putting him in the role player category. Um, I don't really know, like, this whole, like, I don't know who's above who in this whole, like, line right here. I'm just putting people in. Um, we'll figure that out later. Emmanuel quickly, same thing. He, I think he's also a role player. Um, Isaiah Thomas, at this point, is a bench warmer. He could have some moments where he, like, you know, uh, where, he, where he might turn back the clock here and there. But I think, overall, he's a bench warmer at this point of his career. Jose Alvarado, to me, is a role player. I think he's a very, very um, underrated player on the Pelicans. Makes a lot of winning plays. Josh Giddy is interesting, man. I, I'm putting Josh Giddy in the starter tier. I'm putting Josh Giddy in this tier. Um, I don't know if he's going to be an all-star next season. So I'm going to put him in the same category with D'Lo so far. James Harden, I think, is going to be... Um, James Harden, I'm going to put him in the star star tier. Um, I don't think he's on that level of Dame. I, I, I mean, he's kind of declined in his career so far. Um, Drew Holiday, I'm going to put him in... Um, Oh, this is so tough for me because then I got to move these, these two down if I'm putting Drew and Fred here. Yeah, so I'm going to put Darius number one, DeJounte number two, and then these two kind of interchange whatever you want. Um, Fred, I'll give the nod to because he made the all-star team, but Drew Holiday is kind of in that tier as well. Um, okay, that makes me feel a lot, more, lot, lot, a lot better. John Morant, wow. He, it's between these two for me. I think it's going to have to be the, 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 the elite. I think he's going to have to be high because what he did, you know, this season, man, it was historic. And he was he had a really, really good season. Uh, Jamal Murray, I think, um, could potentially become an all star. I think Jamal Murray could be in this tier. Uh, but I'm going to put he's the first guy that I'm, I'm going to put in yet to be determined because he's coming off a big injury. I don't know how he's going to play if he was fully healthy. And if he was playing like the last time I saw him, which was like the bubble days, he would be an all star. But like. Right now, I just don't know how he's going to play. So he's yet to, yet to be determined. Jordan Poole. Um, for now, Jordan Poole is the starter, which makes me want to put Cade Cunningham as a starter for now as well. Because I don't want to do every one of these guys based off of right now and put Cade based off of potential. So yeah, I'm going to put Cade as a starter for now. For now, he's a starter. We'll see how he does, but for now, he's a starter. Um and i think i might have to narrow this list on De'Aaron De 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 fox might have to go here too um yeah i mean we'll, we'll see you know we'll see what happens uh De'Aaron, you're on the hot seat because i don't know if you're going to be an all-star or a starter because i don't think De'Aaron fox and d'angelo russell are too far apart um so i'm gonna have to put De'Aaron De in this one jalen suggs um i mean for now he's a role player to me because of his rookie season uh, but it, you know we'll have to see um, same with Killian Hayes. I mean, a lot of people might put him in the bench warmer category, but I actually think Killian Hayes played pretty well in the second half of the season when he was given the, uh, the reins of the second unit. Um, he's a good playmaker, man. He's just not that scorer that a lot of people thought he was coming out of college or not college, but coming from overseas. Kyrie is a, uh, elite slash superstar player. Um, he's going to be, yeah, one of the, one of these categories right here. Kyle Lowry, I think he's a starter for now. I think a lot of people's like, a lot of people, um, I don't know if he's a role player or a starter, but I think he has to be a starter because of his impact. And I think a lot of people kind of forgot what he did for the Heat before the playoffs. And I'm going to cut him a little bit of slack for the playoffs because he was dealing with a hamstring injury. But in the regular season, Kyle Lowry was a tremendous like reason why the Heat got to the number one seed. And I, th I don't think a lot of people give him credit for that. He's, he's probably the worst starter out of everyone here, but I don't think he's a role player either. I think he's a starting point guard uh, on a team. I think he can be. Kendrick Nunn to me is a role player. Um, I'm not even going to put him in this category because even though I haven't seen him, I just don't think, you know, I might cut him some slack and put him in this category, but I think Kendrick Nunn is going to be a role player. Um, Kemba Walker at this point is a role player. LaMelo Ball is going to be in the all-star category with uh, these guys right here. He's going to be in this category. Luka Doncic might be the best player on this list um, to some people. So he's going to be elite slash superstar. Malcolm Brogdon is a starter. I think Malcolm Brogdon is a starter. Um, same with Mike Conley. I think Mike Conley is also a starter. I think Mike Conley and Kyle Lowry, there, there isn't too too much difference between these two, in my opinion. Um, Malachi Flynn. 
at this point has not really played so far in his career so i have to put him in the bench warmer tier like he literally has not played um in his career so far like for the raptors he's had like sporadic minutes here and there so at this point cannot really give him even a role player tier because he hasn't really shown me anything because he hasn't played too much markel fultz to me is a role player i think he's um he impacts orlando a lot even though they're not winning too many games i think you can see the difference with him on the floor um and him uh not on the floor same with monte morris i think monte morris is one of the best backup point guards in the nba um um, Marcus Smart is a starter, and he's going to be in one of these categories, like right here. Um, you know, he might be better than De'Aaron to some people, but might be better than D'Lo to some people. Patrick Beverly is a role player. Um, he might be the, one of the best role players in the NBA, but he's, I don't think he's a, like a bona fide starter. Uh, Peyton Pritchard, I think same category as uh, Malachi Flynn. Got sporadic minutes here and there. He can shoot the ball really, really well. Defensively, he's not the best at all, though. Um, Reggie Jackson, role player in the same category uh raul neto he could be a role player but i just ideally see him as a as a third string point guard on the team that wants to win games he's 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 playing minutes for the wizards because they don't have another option but i just don't see him as a true like uh first or second string point guard ricky rubio however is one of those and i think he's going to be in the role player category um this is a very very polarizing one russell westbrook this is so hard man um Honestly, I think Russell Westbrook's a starter. I'm not going to lie. I think he's a starter. I, I think the disrespect is kind of crazy at times, man. Yeah, he didn't have the greatest season, but he still averaged, what, 18, 8, and 4 or whatever. Like, he, he still can play, man. He's not a scrub. So, um, yeah, like, a lot of fans are clowning him and stuff. I, I'm, 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 I'm cutting him some slack. I think that next season he's going to be well, uh, playing well. I don't know, I don't know what team he's going to be on. We got to figure out if he's going to get traded for Kyrie or not, what's going to happen. But, yeah, he's in this category to me. Um, probably bottom end though. Like there's a big difference between Cade Cunningham um, and De'Aaron Fox and, and like some of these bottom guys. So Shea, I think is an all-star. He hasn't made it in his career. I don't think so, but I think he's going to be an all-star one day. Stephen Curry is obviously an elite, elite, elite player. You think he's like above, like m might be the best player on this list. Him and him or Luca, you guys can debate about amongst yourselves about that. Tyrese Halliburton, probably the best starter. Uh, one of the best starters here. I think he's definitely a starter um tyus jones is i think tyus jones is the best uh backup point guard in the nba i think i just think he's so so underrated man um uh tyrese maxi is a starter to me uh for sure i think tyrese maxi is a starter um in that same conversation with jordan pool in my eyes i think he's him and jordan pool are not too far apart like you could kind you can you can like make an argument as to who's better but i think both of these guys are really really solid um tomas sadoransky uh, bench warmer to me i don't think he's anything special trey young i think is an elite player i think he's really 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 good um and uh yeah we're gonna have to put him up here i think he's gonna be in that elite slash superstar tier uh lonzo ball is a starter to me i think he's one of these i think he's in this top five i think these are the top five as far as starters go um and then you have some discrepancies here and there but i think these are the top five trey jones is a role player to me and i think that's where we're gonna finish off the list um let's see if we want to shuffle anything around i'm pretty happy now obviously like i don't know like the exact order as far as like on the role player tier who's above who no idea um that's for you guys to figure out i'm just ranking the players and putting them all in the tier i'm not saying reggie jackson is better than dennis Schroeder. that's not what i'm saying about putting him on putting him above him so it's really for you guys to figure out um but i think as far as putting him into tiers i think i did a pretty solid job um yeah the yet to be determined category was kind of useless I, I ended up putting jamal murray on here because he hasn't played any games um in like a year or so if he did i would put him in the all-star category for sure but i don't think you know i have to just see what he's how he's going to come back from his injury um but yeah i'm pretty happy with what i did man i'm pretty happy um even with the bench warmer category like you can put Peyton pritchard first if you want you could put malachi flynn first if you want like it's up to you it's really up to you um yeah, we're going to wrap up the video here. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. This was very, very hard. Um, and yeah, I'll see y'all later as always. Peace.